Hey folks, Trace Waters here. Just wanted to do a quick video uh, overviewing my hydroponic system I have set up. And now that I do have it solar powered. Solely solar powered. So it's, it's a basic Dutch pocket system, although you could use other systems. Uh, this is the one that worked out best for me. And this is just the way I happen to do it. And it works, you know, that's what matters. Proof is in the pudding. And you can see the tomatoes, they're doing actually really well. So, uh, what I have, like I said, is the Dutch bucket. It has a 396 gallon per hour pump. It runs on about 40 watts of power. It's not running continuously. I have it set up on a timer. But I do have this 20 watt panel. So obviously if that pump's running at close to 40 watts, the 20 watt panel, not going to do the job. But, since it doesn't have to be running continuously, I have it on the timer. And that's how we can have it solely solar powered. But uh, you saw the panel. I have the cord running inside. Okay, this is your charge controller. Now this is the PWM style. They're not very efficient, unfortunately. So even less power is being used because of this, this style of charge controller. Now there are the uh, MPP, MPPT, maximum power point tracking controllers. And those are much, much more efficient. However, they're also more expensive. Uh, they have come down in price. I was looking at them the other day on eBay. Um, so when I do upgrade, yeah, that's that's what I'll go with. But the cost of one one of the cheapest MPPT charge controllers was as much as this whole system. So to give you an idea there, you know what you're looking at for expense. Now it runs down to this battery. This is a marine deep cycle battery. I also use it for my trolling motor for fishing. So it works out well that way. Um, and then it runs up to the inverter, which more efficiency is lost than this. So you're going to have to kind of gauge how much energy need you, you need to how much your system can produce on a good sunny day. And then also keep in mind that you're not going to always have sunny days. So, anyways. I want to be able to show that this can be done and it has worked out well for me. So if you have any questions feel free to post them. Also thumbs up if, if you like the video and if there is interest I will do another one showing exactly how I put together uh, this Dutch bucket system and also the uh, way I have it set up for clamping the tomatoes so hope you got something out of the video folks take care god bless and we'll see you next time